take a moment to just look at you. Erti tsamit minda kikhurota tautkbeo. Because when people worship our Lord, imidom rom rodesats adamianebi adideben chven supals. His glory begins to shine through them. Misi dideba itskhebs kholme areklas matsakhebze. And I see Jesus all over you. Da ukhedaut titoul tkhen ganshi Yesu Christes. And his spirit is with us today. Da misi suli dres chven tan arisak. How many of you came in this morning with sickness in your body that you feel? Ramdeni tkhen gani movida dres raime avad mqopobis ganstit tkhen sxeulshi romelsats grznopt. Raise your hand. Okay, raise them high. I want the people around you. Now, people up and look around and look at how many people need healing. Nakhet ramdeni adamians chirdeba tkveni dakhmareba mi moikhedet garshemo. Last week at this time I was fasting for you. Tsina kuirit I am dros me markhulob dit kventvis. And not because I was fasting, but I believe I heard the Lord say he wanted to heal people today. Magram imitom ki ara rom markhulobdi magram darcmunebuli va rom upali damelaparaka da mitkhra rom unda tkveni gankurneba. This is my first time in Georgia. Es chemi pirveli vizitia sakartveloshi. Beautiful country. South are Kwekana. Beautiful people. Shweni eri khalki. A beautiful expression of the body of Jesus. Zalian kargi gamo khatuleba Christes kheulis ak tkwentan. To the bishop, thank you for the honor of speaking from your pulpit. Madloba episkoposo rom pati vidam detam mometsit sitwa ayak katedridan. And to Sergey, my friend who it's true in Jerusalem we we wave at each other and don't have time to talk. Da Martalitsaris Madlobeli var Sergei sa imito rom Jerusalemshi khels tu dauknevt kholme ertmanets shoridan. But thank you for the honor of sharing with me your home country. Madloba rom pati vidam deda michvene sheni samshoblo. My wife and I will be married 39 years in July. Iulishi 29 celitsadi shegvisruldeba me da chems me ugles kortsinebis. And I'm going to talk about her a little bit today. Da tsota masze tsunda gelaparakot dres. I can tell you that she's the most beautiful woman in the world. Shemelia gitkhrat rom qvelaze lamazi kalbatonia am dedamitsaze. And it doesn't matter if I'm the only one who believes that for me it's true. Da mnishveloba ara aks marto memjera amis tu martlatsasea. She's the mother of my three children. Is that is dead? That's why Miss Amishwilisa. One is married. Erti da korti nebulia. And she and her husband and two children live in Jerusalem. Da is da misi meugle kmari da orishwili Jerusalem shit koroben. Where they're pioneering some work with the local Jewish believers in Jesus. Sa dat isini arian tamom tchebni asabt kwat tawi antim sakhure bisa chwenim sakhure bisa ik Ebrael tashoris. But about two years ago, she calls me. Sanghats ori tsilis tsin da mire ka ertkhel. And she says, Barry, I believe the Lord said I'm supposed to go into Syria. Da mire ka da mitkhra, Barry, asem goni arom upal sunda Syria shi tsa video. But I know I need your blessing to go into Syria. Magram vici rom sheni kurt khewa mchir deba imisa tuis rom Syria shi tsa video. My heart almost stopped. Che mi guli tit khmis ga cherda. Living in Israel with Syria next door. Ratkmaunda Israelidan ikwe akhlo Syria. We know the horror that has been Syria with over 500,000 people killed. Vitsitra sashineleba tsxdeboda ikda sadgats 5000-amde adamiani iqo mokluli im droistvis. But I know better than to say no when God is doing something. Magram vitsirom ar sheizleba uaris tkma imaze rodesats gmerti aketebs ragatsas. So I said, I'll pray about it. Da utkharik, argi vilotseba mistvis. Often times in the church we say, I'll pray about it. Khshirat eklesiashi vambobt kholme vilotsebo amistvis. And what we really mean is, okay, leave me alone. Rasat sinamdulashi vgulis mobt kholme argi kargi tavi damanebeo. But I prayed about it. Magra me martla vilotse. And my prayers were like this. Da chem milotsu ad akhlobit aseti iho. God, I don't like this idea. Khmerto armom tsons es idea. This is my best friend, Lord. 
my best friend. Ischemi sauketes o megobaria. The mother of my children. Chemi shuilebis teda. I don't like the idea of her going into a war zone. The armin darom is saumar zona shitavides. And the Holy Spirit in that still quiet voice. Magram sulit min dam pthili nazikh mit mitra. Takes me back to when she and I were first dating. Da shemach zena izdro rodesat piru elat davitz ket ertma entan shekhudra. And I see myself opening the Bible with her. Da gamach zena rogur gadosh lidit chol me Biblia smastan ertat. And reading the verse, if you want to be my disciple, you must take up the cross and deny yourself and follow me. Dau kit khol obdit khol merta tu ginda rom chemi motsape iqo unda itvirto chemi jwari da tsakhvide kvekhnierebis kideebamde. And I was asking her, if you're not willing to give everything to follow Jesus, we can't continue this relationship. Da vekit khebodi tu ar ginda rom khvela peri daut mogme. Chveni urtiertobebis gagrdzeleba sheuzlebeliat ko. You know, I saw that just in a moment. Ragats tsamierat And then I heard the Holy Spirit say, "You started this relationship around the cross. Don't leave the cross now." And so I said yes, and I blessed her. This is a miraculous story. A Jewish army, Ebrauli armia, opening a closed border for Christian missionaries. Gachsnis kuelaze achlom debare sazwarz Christiani missionere bistuis. To go in and give medical care in the name of Jesus to Sunni Muslims. Rom es Christiani missionere bi Sunnit Muslim eptan gada uidnen Syria shida medikament ori dachmare baga utzion. For two months, she lived four-hour horse ride inside of Syria. Ori twist gan malo ba she tchenit ot chisati sawal gzazet chorobda Syria she. And she and the team of seven experienced the love of Jesus for the Syrian people. Da is da shvidi kat segan shem dgarij gupi zalian didragat sebs ganit stidnen Jesus tanertatik. And I remember the emotion as I'm standing with the Israeli army on the top of Mount Hermon, waiting for her, some of her team to come out. Da machso us rogor vide ki Israelis army asta nertat Hermonism taze raem otsie bim parauda rodesat zvelode bodit vinmes im jgupidan mobrune bo. They had a TV camera and wanted to interview me, and I could hardly stop crying. Da erterti TV camera movida chem tanda interview zigebda meki tirilis shet swetats ki arshem izlo. Because for two months I got short messages about when their village was bombed. Da mere ragats mokle shet kobine ba miwige ori tu istauzerom sopeli dai bomba, which was almost daily. Da is titk mis kovul gechte boda. I'm thankful to our Lord that she came out. Me madeli eri vachweni upli sarom mis ukanda mi brunda. And I'm thankful for our Lord what is happening today in Syria. I was just reading an article about how hundreds of Muslims in Syria are coming to Jesus. Because they saw the barbarous acts of the Islamic State And they said, "This is not the God I want to serve." The Romat Naches says, "Barbarosuli sakme bi Romelitz Islamist ebma chaydin es gamerti sakeletik da tukes Rom aseti gamerti chuen arguindao." So when Sergey said, "There's a strong woman behind me, much stronger than you will see here today." Aserom rodesat Sergey ambob darom chem sukan zelieri kaleo gatsi lebit zelieri ya vidret armogit geniat. Tash chegiliat da ukrat. I want to start today with a little story. I understand that here in Georgia you celebrate Resurrection Sunday next week. And I assume today would be called Palm Sunday. When, when the church remembers Jesus coming into Jerusalem. 
Well, I want to talk about Jesus walking into Jerusalem a little bit. And I hope you get to visit Jerusalem. And Jesus came from the Mount of Olives up the road into Jerusalem. But do you remember how he got into Jerusalem? This day he didn't walk. How did he get to Jerusalem? On the back of a donkey. Imagine for a moment being that donkey. You've never had anyone on your back before. But as you're carrying this weight, People start to lay down palm branches in front of you. People start to proclaim, Hosanna, Hosanna. I imagine that little donkey beginning to look at these people coming to see me. Mom said I'd never be anything. All of Jerusalem was on the streets. Proclaiming my glory. What's wrong with that? It wasn't his glory. The people were there for Jesus. I tell you that story. Because over the years I've trained pastors, I've planted churches. And there's a temptation in the church. That when the glory of Jesus shows through us, and the people are drawn to Jesus, we think it's about us. No. I just want to be a good donkey. To take Jesus where he wants to go. So he receives the glory he deserves. As a young preacher, I profaned the name of God. I didn't know I was doing it. I did not know I was speaking bad of God. But I would preach along the lines that God began a plan with Adam. Excuse me? I would preach saying God had a plan with Adam. Uh -huh. Adam? Adam. Uh, but God's plan didn't work. And so God scratches his head a little bit. And he starts a new plan with Noah. But we see that plan fail. And God scratches his head a little bit. So he starts a new plan with Abraham. And that plan doesn't work. And we then present Jesus as plan B or C. This is to speak bad of God. If you have your Bibles open to the first letter of Peter, in chapter 1, and then if you can read verses 18 through 20. Radgan 
ან ოქროთი იქენით გამოსყიდული მამებისგან მემკვიდრეობით გადმოცემული ამაო გზიდან. არამედ ქრისტეს ძვირფასი სისხლით, როგორც უბიწო და უმანკო კრავისა, რომელიც სუთისოფლის შექმნამდე იყო წინასწარ განწესებული, მაგრამ უკანასკნელ დროს მოგვევლინა თქვენი გულისთვის. ამენ. We've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. ჩვენ გამოსხიდული ვიკენით იესო ქრისტეს სისხლით, who was known by God before he created the world. რომელიც ღმერთმა ჯერ კიდევ ქვეყნიერების შექმნამდე განაწესა. Manifested later for our benefit. შესაძლოა მოგვიანებით გამოაბრწყინა, გამოვლინდა იგი ჩვენ დასასიკეთოთ. Jesus is not plan B. მაგრამ იესო გეგმა ბე არ ყოფილა. He's the only plan. ის ერთადერთი გეგმა იყო. Now let's turn to the book of Revelations chapter 13. 13 13. Ахла гамоцхадебис цикзе гадавшалот мецамете тавши. And read verse 8. Мерве мухли цавикитхот. Да тахвани самас дедамицис хвалам цхоуребма, ромелта сахелебиц ара рис чацерили сицоцхли сигнши, даклул краус ро макс квеқнеребис дасабамидан. Speaks here of the book of life. Ак лапаракия сицоцхли сигнзе of the lamb who was slain Romelitz konda kraus Romelitz iqo dakluli before the foundation of the world Jer kidev kveqnierebis dapuznebamde Think about that for a moment Cotakhnit chaupikrdit amas God's love for you was so great Khmertis siqwaruli imdenad didi iqo shendami that before he created the world რომ სანამ ამ ქვეყნიერებას გააჩენდა შექმნიდა the eternal lamb of god საოცარი მარადიული კრავი lamb the lamb of god ხოთ მარადიული კრავი ხვთისა the eternal word of god მარადიული სიტყვა ხვთისა was slain for our sins and he hadn't even created us yet დაკლული იყო უკვე ჩვენთვის და ჩვენ ჯერ გაჩენილნი არ ვიყავით That's enough to stop and go think about for the next month. Ахла сакмарис икнеboda гавчеребули гави да шемдгоми тве мхоло да амазе гвепикра. So once again I say Jesus is not plan B. Кида вертхел минда гитхрат Иесо гегма Б сатадариго гегма ар ყოფილა. He's God's only plan. Ис ღმერთის ერთადერთი გეგმა იყო. Which that means everything else is a part of his plan for Jesus. Ratsimas nishnaus rom mis gegmashi qvelaperi danarcheni rogorts natsili ise shediyoda. Adam is not a plan that went bad. Adam is a part of the plan of Adam Jesus. Adam yar qopila gmertis gegma romelmats veri varga. Es iqo natsili Christes gegmisa. The nation of Israel is not a plan of God that went bad. Israelis khalkhi ar qopila gmertis chanapikri romelmats ar gaamartla. Israel's a part of the plan of Jesus to reveal Jesus to the world. Israelits chapikrebuli iqo Christes gegmashi rom Ieso gamoetsxadebinat kveqnierebistvis. God has not made any mistakes. Gmerts aranairi shetstom ar mozdis. Now we live in very blessed days. Chuen zalian kurtkheul jamshiv tsxovrobt. These are days that Jesus prophesied. Es is dghebia romelzet Ieso tsinastsar metqvelebda. If you open to the 21st chapter of Luke verse 24. Lukas 21 etavze tu gadashlit 24 mukhlze. Go ahead and read that. Akteria, makhvili spirit daetsemian, tkhvet tsaasxamen khvela khalkhshi da tsarmartni gatelaven Yerusalems, sanam ar dasruldeba tsarmartta dghebi. Jesus prophesied that Jerusalem would be destroyed. Yes, om it's in a sarme tkhela rom Yerusalemi dangreul ikneba. The Jews would be scattered to the end of the world. Rom khalkhi gandevnili ikneba Ebraelebi dedamitsis kideebamde. And Jerusalem would be ruled by Gentiles. Da tsarmartebi immartvelebeno Yerusalemze. Until sanam until sanam He's saying Jerusalem there will come a day when it's ruled once again by Jews. Ar dadgeba dghebi rodesats Yerusalemshi klau Israelianebi immartveleben. Jerusalem will be trampled by the Gentiles until 
the end of the age of the Gentiles has come. Sarmartebis mier gatelili ikneba o Jerusalemi sanam ar dasrulda am gateluis periodi da klau Israelenebs ar gadaetse matigi ar datgeba ukanaskneli jame. And Jesus was right. Da Jesu martali ikho. Jerusalem was destroyed in the year 70 AD. Jerusalemi martlats daangries Kriste shobidan 75 tsels. It was destroyed a second time by the Romans in the year 135 AD. Da Jesu kwe meoret daangries Romaelebma 25 tsels ngrevis shemdeg. And the Roman Caesar was so angry at the small country of the Jews. Da Romaeli Caesare imdenat gamtsarebuli ikho am patara mitsis mimart Ebraelebisa. They've rebelled twice in 65 years. Orger Dangries samuzda khutitslis ganmolobashi. He made it a capital fence to speak Hebrew. Uh it, to speak Hebrew was a death penalty. Uh anu ik faktiurat akrdzaluli iqo ebraulad laparaki. And he tells his counselors I want to abolish from human history the memory of the Jews and the memory of their God. Give me the name of an enemy of the Jewish people. Mometsito sacheli vintsaris mteri ebraeli khalkhisa. And I will rename this land after the enemy of the Jews. Da I am mitaso matim trebi sachels davarkmeo. Well his counselors opened the book. Da misma mcheuleb magadashale signi. They read about the regular fights of David and the Philistines. Da zaiki tresik pilistimelebtan ertat pilistimelebtan Davidis shebrzolebisa. And so Emperor Adrian renamed the land Philistina. Da Imperator ma Adrianem Philistima dar qua im mitas. In honor of the ancient enemies of the Jews. Im uzuelesi drois trebi sapati usatse mulot ebraeli chalchisa. And that name stayed on the maps until today. Da drem de es sachelia ruk ebzeshe morcheneli Palestina. But in English it became Palestine. English surat is Palestina Jerz. A name created artificially. Romlevitz cham sheu kamenes mashinik tauroban. So we would forget that there was a God. Rom rogor me dagua witzchon rom micho gmerti. One only God who called the people. Er tadberti gmerti. Who called the people. Romel mats mouts oda chalks. And that people gave birth to a Messiah. Also to make us forget that Jesus died and was raised from the dead in the city of Jerusalem. Now this until ended 51 years ago. Magram es kwa la perigrzel debo da jerki de usana mardat gebo da jami ormuz da tertmeti tli sin. From 135 AD until 1967, Jerusalem was not Jewish. Ebraelebs agare kutro da pirueli saukuni dan ayam meotse saukunem de Jerusalemi. But in 1967, for the first time in 2,000 years, Jews ruled the old city of Jerusalem. Magram oria tasitlis ganvalo ba shi pirueli da tasxra samuz darwatels Ebraelebis martolo bas gada etsa Jerusalemi. That tells me we're the people that saw this until happen. Da es me me ubneva imas rom dat ga ijami rode sa zakceria droe bit gadaet sema to zar martebs salam klau da ubrunde ba o Ebraele bis martolobas. It tells me we have entered the end of the age of the Gentiles. Chen pakti urat imas me ubneva rom chen miuachlo di zar marta martolobis jamis dasas rules. But understand, we don't know how long that end is. Magram chuen zustat verwit kuit ram de mikhani gagrzel de baes. It's already been 50, almost 52 years. Tit kmiz ormuts da tormetit elitza de ukwe gawi da mas shemdek. Maybe it's a 70 year season. Zogi ambob sheiz leba samuz da at slam de gawi de so estro. Maybe it's a 200 year season. Sheiz leba oras sliani periodi ikhoses. We don't know. Chuen arwitsit. But we know we're in it. Magram chuen witsit rom iz dastrul da. How many of you are familiar with the, the biblical concept of a jubilee year? Ramdenit kwengani itsnopt biblur konceptsia sayubilo shetskhalebis celitsadisas. 
It was something in the law to the Jews. Is ragaz ragaz mitzemuli konda tebraelebs. Tak rjulshi konda chaterili. That every fiftieth year, all debts were forgiven. Um, chovel ormutz da meyatetzels chvela vali iknebuda napatiebi. Under the Jewish law, land was not sold. It was only leased until the end of the 50-year period, and it had to go back to its owner. Now, the Jewish rabbis will say they don't know when is a 50-year jubilee. With his 2,000 years of being scattered, they don't know what's the right date to start counting 50 years. But I believe the history of Jerusalem shows us that cycle. In the year 1867, uh, Jerusalem was a city under the Ottoman Empire. 800, excuse me. 1,867. Yes. Jerusalem was a city under the Ottoman Empire. Uh, Ottoman. Ottoman Empire. I think George is well acquainted with the history of the Ottomans. Albert Quince uh, Sakmaut Chidro Utierto Bebi Gaukt, Ottomanis Imperiastan. In that year, 1867, a British captain went to Jerusalem. Erterti Britanelli Capitani Chawida Jerusalem Shi, Atas Rua Samus da Schwit Zels. The Queen sent him to find where the Temple of Solomon had stood. But the Muslim authorities would not let him do archaeology on the Temple Mount. So he goes down the hill and he has a plan to dig a tunnel and he has a plan to dig a tunnel and tunnel up and come up under where the temple was supposed to have been. But he was surprised because he found the water tunnel David used to conquer the city. And for the first time in modern history, the location of the city of David was known. Because it's outside the current walls that were built by the Ottomans. When that hit the newspapers around the world, Many Jewish people from Russia and even this part of the world said it's time to go back to Israel. Now I started talking about the Jubilee. A year of forgiveness and redemption. 50 years later in 1917, it's the end of World War I. Once again, a British Christian is used by the Lord and he sets Jerusalem free from the Ottoman Empire. Then we go 50 years later to 1967. And that's the, anyone know what happened in Jerusalem in 1967? In the Mideast, it was the Six-Day War, which I see described in Zechariah chapter 12. But the Jewish army took over Jerusalem for the first time in 2,000 years. Israel's army am Oria tasitzlis ganolo bashi piruelat kolau daim kuidra daibruna daibchro Jerusalem. So every 50 years, 
in recent history God is doing something to redeem the city of Jerusalem. Why, why do I share this story? Paul tells us in Ephesians that you Gentiles are now grafted in to the covenants and the promises God gave the Jewish people. By the blood of Jesus, we are made heirs of the promises. When Christus sisklis meshobit gauchdit mem kuidreni chamertis achd kmebisa. And we live in an age when God is not just redeeming Jerusalem, he is redeeming humanity around the world. Today is the best day to be a Christian in human history. Let's open to Isaiah chapter 52, verse 8. Which verse? Uh, 52 and read the end of verse 8 and then 9 and 10. Go ahead and read all of it. Ismine, Shen Magusha Gebma, Chma Aymagles, Ertat Khijineben, Radgan Sakutari Toilet Hedaw and Uplis da Brune Bassionshi. Akijindit, Ertat Shemos Zachet Siharulit, Jerusalem is Nangrebo Radgan Anu Gesha Upalma Tawi Zichalchi, Gamoiski da Jerusalemi, Gaishi Shla Upalma Smidam Klawi, Huela Eris Twaltin, Rata Dedamitis Huela Kidem Ichilos, Chuenich Snach Tismiri. Amen. Amen. When the Lord restores Zion, the nation of Israel. Israelis heirs. When he redeems Jerusalem, he reveals his strong arm to the nations. And I would add to that that he revealed his strength to the principalities and powers. He reveals his arm to the nations that, so that the ends of the earth may see his salvation. Now, I'm a student of church history. I study church history. And having planted churches in Brazil, I'm very familiar with the history of the church in Brazil. In the year 1967, the Protestant believers in Brazil were about two and one half percent. Today they're arguing, is it 35%, is it 40%, is it 45%? From 2% to 40%. South Korea. 1967. All Christians, Catholics, Orthodox and Protestants were only, were only 2% of the population. Today, the Protestants are 35% of the population. Praise the Lord. Is it because our preachers today are better preachers? I don't believe so. Is it because they pray more? I don't believe so. I believe it's this promise from Isaiah. 
God says that when he redeems Jerusalem, he was changing the heavenly nature over earth to reveal salvation to the ends of the earth. And the church of Jesus is that vehicle of salvation. Hallelujah. Now let's go to Isaiah 49:22 and I want to tell you why I think God's tied our histories together. 49 verse 22. Now we have to understand the prophet is speaking to the Jewish people. Minda kargat gamigot tsina sar metkheli israelianebs ela parakeba es saying thus says the lord ase ambopso upali behold there'll come a time which i will raise my hand to the nations aha datgebo jami rodesats khels aghumartao erebisken and i will raise my banner to the nations da bayrakhs aghumartao erebis dasanakhat jesus is his banner to the nations dres iesoa misi bayrakh erebis dasanakhat but then the end of the verse da mukhlis bolo shikiteria they, the nations, es erebio, will bring your sons in their arms zeps, and they will carry your daughters on their soul, shoulders to bring you back to Israel. Paul tells us in Romans chapter 11 that by our mercy, the Jews will receive mercy. Rom gmertis shetxalebis chveni meshvobito israelianebits migebeni Yesu Kristes. And he says that when the end of the age of the Gentiles has come, all Israel will be saved. Darodesas datgebao jami bolo jami teli israelieni israeli gadarchebao. How do they see this mercy? When we quote their prophets back to them, I was just with a, a meeting of Ethiopian Jews who have returned to Israel. And Christians like you from around the world gave the money so the Christian embassy could pay for their plane flights. And they say, why do you Christians do this? And the background of that question is, you Christians have always persecuted us. Why are you not persecuting us now? And I am very honest. I say it's not all Christians. It's the Christians that believe the Bible. That consider the Bible more important than what the, the fathers of the church say. And because we believe your Bible, I tell them. We read that the prophet said we in the nations would help you come back. And so then, to their surprise, I say, thank you for letting us obey God. By helping you return. Paul says our lives should make them jealous. And when we know their scriptures, and when we live the mercy of Jesus towards them, 
და ჩვენ გამოვანთავისუფლებთა მწყალობას იესოსას მათ მიმართ they start asking questions about jesus მათ უჩდებათ კითხვები იესოს მიმართ და იესოს შესახებ ამენ ამენ i'm going to close with one story but i do still expect the lord to heal so we won't stop with this story ერთი პატარა ამბავით მინდა დავასრულო მაგრამ თან მოლოდინი მაქვს რომ უფალი განკურნავთ ახლა თქვენ ვისაც გჭირდებათ there's a colonel in the um, israeli army aris erti generali israelianta jarshi and he was responsible for the good neighbor project that let debi and the christian workers across the border to syria da is iqo pasukhis mgebeli ketili megobris projektze romelmats deboras missa sashualeba rom gadasul iqo syriashi ik he's not a christian is christiani ar aris he's very open that he's not is zalian გახსნილია მაგრამ არ არის ქრისტიანი. He was speaking to our pastors conference in Jerusalem. ის ლაპარაკობდა ჩვენი პასტორების კონფერენციაზე იერუსალიმში. And as he makes this statement he says now I'm a Jew. და ასეთი განცხადება გააკეთა იცით მე ებრაელი ვარ. I don't believe in Jesus. მე არ მწამს იესოსი. But I tell my friends. მაგრამ ჩემს მეგობრებს ვეუბნები. When these followers of Jesus do something like go to Syria. როცა ეს ქრისტეს მიმდევრები ისეთ რამეს აკეთებენ როგორც სირიაში წასვლა makes you want to know more about this jesus უფრო მანდომებენ რომ მეტი გავიგო ამ იესოს შესახებ ამენ